marketing. How do we get the word out about our business? I talked to you about Gary the Gary Deval in 1975 with creating the Pet Rock. Okay, how did he market it? We talked. I talked. I touched on how did he market that rock and the packaging that he put it in, and things of that nature, and he made 27 million dollars. Guess what? Each one of you could open up your front door, walk out, bend down on the ground, and pick up a rock for free. But yet still. People in America, in the world, paid up to up to fifteen ninety nine for this rock, and he made twenty seven million on twenty seven million dollars. Again, there's eight point seven billion people in the world. Your client or your customer is right out there waiting for you. Brand positioning and brand marketing. How do you brand, how do you brand your product? How do you market your product? Okay. What are people saying about your product? How is your product packaged? Is it appealing to the eye? Okay. When we talk about branding, a lot of people, have, um, that's the new buzzword on the internet today is branding. And we talk about, well, I want to brand my product. I want to brand myself. And things. There's, only, there's two types of branding. There's direct response marketing and brand marketing. Okay. When you look at it from a branding perspective. Okay. Brand marketing is, if you hear the phrase, just do it. Most of you will think about Nike. Um, you know, you see the golden arches. Most of you think about McDonald's. You see the old guy on a red and white box. You think of KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's brand marketing. Most of us in our business do not have that type of budget to do brand marketing. Most companies, especially Fortune 500 companies, they set aside a minimum, a minimum on a low end, $10 million a year strictly for marketing. That's why you see so many commercials about Nike and McDonald's and Burger King and things like that. They set aside a minimum $10 million a year. And if they put that commercial on during the Super Bowl, that's another $3.5 million just for that 30 seconds, 30, 30 seconds. Okay. So brand marketing is expensive. That's not something that a lot of us do. Direct response marketing, that's what we do. Okay. As a small business person, you want to find the exact, you want to find your customer and market strictly to them. How do you find your customer? By developing a customer avatar. What is a customer avatar? It's a profile of who your ideal, who your ideal client will be. Develop an idea, you develop your ideal client and you market to them. They're out there. So when you're looking at from a marketing perspective, which one is gonna be more cost effective for you? Direct response marketing it is, okay? And then we have 